What's up guys, Liam here and welcome back to LSJTV. This is the fifth ever home gym tour, or volume five, or whatever you want to call it. The fifth one that I've ever done uh, in the space of around about three, three and a half years. One of my first ever videos was a home gym tour um, and that was uh, interesting, shall we say. Um, the channel has improved, the home gym has improved since then and it's been over 18 months since I've done the last one. We've had two major new pieces of equipment and a few more little bits in between. So. Before we get started, drop the video a like and let's take a trip down memory lane to see where it all started. Okay, how's it going guys? Back today to give you a tour of my home gym. Olympic plates, colour coded. You can get the 20 kilo plate which is blue, which I will be getting very soon. Next we have the power blocks. These are probably my favourite thing in the entire home gym. I am in my garage, it's a big garage, so uh, big double garage, which is full at the minute. Uh, we've actually got plans to um, clear this side out, we've actually made a start. Uh, believe it or not, this is better than it was before. But now, we have at least two of every weight increment possible. Got an ab roller from Amazon. Just some cheap dumbbells from Argos, we've had those for a while now. What's up guys, welcome back to LSJ TV and in today's video I'm going to be giving you a brand new updated tour of my home gym. So let's get going. video a like and let's get this done. Mirror twice the size as it was before. We have an ab machine which is going to go here. It's kind of cool that I get to document it as we go along because then when next time we make more improvements we'll be able to look back at this and think oh <sighs> Like I said, we've come a long way. So what I'm gonna do, guys, is work from my right down through to my left, and then we will work our way onto the other side of the garage. This feels weird, I haven't done this in ages. So to start off, we have our cables. These, the barbell, the half rack, and a bunch of the attachments that came with this, we actually bought all in one go. Um, so we got all of those things kind of in a bundle for essentially half price. We bought the stuff from Body Power. If you're new here, I love Body Power. I go to Body Power every year with the old man. And we got this, the half rack, the barbell, all that kind of stuff from here. So I use this for the typical cables. I use it for arms. I use it for pull-ups. I use it for pretty much everything. It's a very good, very versatile, very space-saving piece of equipment uh, that's not really too expensive, you know. This really isn't that expensive, all things considered. Uh, when you compare it to something that's going to be in a commercial gym, it feels just the same and it's literally like a fifth of the price. Because we actually got it from Body Power, they kind of give us like an expo deal, literally kind of like 50% off, about two and a half grand's worth of stuff for about, I think it was about 1200 quid. We got all of the attachments that you could ever need in your entire life. Regular grips, triceps, narrow grip, and I use that for rows mainly. A couple more kind of stored away in the corner and all the attachments just generally go in there, out the way. Next up, we have the Power Blocks. These are the Power Blocks Sport 9.0s and I actually don't know if these are sold anymore. They sell variants of them, like different, they're more kind of rubberized, you know, like the plates we have over in the corner. These are just, you hear that? They're, they're, they're just the metal. If it's one thing I get asked the most on the channel, bear in mind I upload all the time, every Wednesday and every Sunday. If you're new here, first off, thank you for tuning in. Drop the video a like if you're enjoying it so far. It will really, really help us out. The one thing I get asked the most is, what the hell these power blocks, obviously you know they're power blocks now, what the hell they are, and how the hell they work, okay? So long story short, you have this dial 
on the front of the power block. It tells you exactly how much it all weighs and you can buy little upgrades. Initially we had just up to the 22.5, then we had up to 32, and then we have the full 41 kilos now. But to be honest, that, that very rarely gets used. It is literally as simple as using this little tag on the side and matching it up with the color that you want. So if I wanted 27 kilos, I would put it in the yellow one, like so. Lift it up, leave the rest of it behind. Once I'm done, pop it back in there. If I'm doing a drop set, boom, go down. Boom, go down, 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 all the way to where you can just have the bit on its own. Now there's gonna be some of you thinking, well there's three values under each color, and yes, you're absolutely right, but that is where these come in. These are all one kilo increments, okay? So what you do is you use the open and close tab, leave it open, and that slides the guards right off which allows you to tip them straight out. Now if I follow the same protocol and put it on the yellow, instead of having 27, I have 25. If I have one of them in there, it'll be 26, 27, and, and that's how it works. It's, it's dead simple, really. Next up, we have the rack. As you guys can see, this is the pinnacle. This is the probably most important and the first thing that you should consider buying, in my opinion. Oh, maybe the dumbbells first, but like, if you're looking to get into the kind of stuff that I do, um, then this, I would say, is probably the most important. The reason I say that is that it's amazing just how much stuff you can do with simply a barbell and a rack. You, if you have a bench, barbell, and a rack, you can shoulder press, you can squat, you can bench, you can deadlift, you can, well, depending on how much weight you have, you know, you can just do barbell curls, you can do, you can do pretty much everything that you need to do to build a solid foundation of a physique in terms of the compound movements with that. With the pull-up bars, adjustable things down the side, you've even got safety spotters at the bottom. Get yourself a decent bench like we have. This is new since the last home gym tour, actually. Bear with me. I'm so ready to trigger people with this Liverpool towel, but hey, as of right now, we are first in the league, and you can't say a single thing. Liverpool towel is here to stay. Underneath, we have our brand new bench. Well, new since the last home gym tour anyway. This is very simple, very easy, and to be honest, really not that expensive. It was about two, it was about just over 300 pounds, I think, and was a massive, massive upgrade from the last one we had. Uh, the last one, had leg extension hamstring curl on it, which was very, very handy, but we actually have a specific machine for that now, so we have no need for the massive kind of uh, bench. But we'll get to that in a minute. It literally comes all the way up, like so, past where you need it to go. You can even adjust the seat. It's dead easy, dead simple, and takes a lot less time to adjust than the last one that we had. Next up is our leg press, um, and this was around about 600 pounds and runs smooth as butter, babies! As you can see behind me, we have the weight stack there, on which we have two of the 25s on there, two on there, so four 25s in total, four 20s in total. Hello, Jesse. Sorry, guys, the, uh, the dog is, is not included if you buy any of this stuff. Uh, we have 425 kilo plates, 420 kilo plates, four, <laughs> two 15 kilo plates, four 10 kilo plates, two 5 kilo plates, two 2.5 kilo plates, and two 1.25 kilo plates. Pretty much all of that will, all of that gets stacked onto the leg press once we're leg pressing. Depends if I'm single or double leg um, pressing, and. Well, yeah, that's, that's that really. Two very valuable parts to the home gym. Um, obviously the weights get used for everything. They get used for bench, they get used for deadlifts, shoulder press, all that kind of stuff. If you're new here, I really, really like shoulder press. And those boxes in the background, I'm actually saving them for an Instagram photo. It's, it's a muscle food thing. You'll, you'll see it when it comes to it. It's, 
it'll be interesting. Alongside all that good stuff, we have a few little bits. We have a kettlebell, an easy curl bar. We've got dip attachments, which go onto here, which is kind of cool, but we actually have an on its own dipping station here, which just gets used more, to be honest. So this is actually a garage gym. This is in our garage. Literally, our house is there. This is our garage, and it is a double garage. Initially, we just used, well, initially, we just used my bedroom, as you guys saw earlier. Um, we eventually moved it down here, multi-gym and all that kind of stuff, transformed it into this and kind of considered it complete. We, we kind of thought we had everything we wanted, everything we needed, but we just wanted more. And so we had to expand into the other side of the garage. This side of the garage showcases work in progress. There are still improvements to be made, but I mean, if you compare it to what it was, literally just rubbish then it's massively improved already sort of thing. We have the TV in the background, we have the leg press slash leg extension machine, which is a two in one kind of machine. You just adjust it, I use it for supersets every leg day, it's freaking awesome. And right here, we have our trusty spin bike. So I have been in a dieting phase, or dieting, let me just see pop, for um, a good few months now, right? And this, has been my life freaking saver. And that, behind me, the TV, has only made it 10 times easier, 10 times better, and just a, a much more easy experience, you know? Having the bike here, our own bike, you know, we don't have to wait for cardio, we don't have to ask for something to be put on the TV, we don't have to bring any headphones, we can just play the music we want on the speaker, we can just play the video we want on YouTube, on the TV, and it makes cardio uh, a lot easier, and that's good because it can be a chore for a lot of people, myself included at times, but this definitely makes it a lot easier, you know? It comes with a bunch of different modes, it tells you the time, how far you've gone, how many calories, and that is supposed to say how fast you're going, which obviously right now is zero, isn't it, Jesse? Yeah. And last but not least, we have the leg extension hamstring curl. Dead easy to do a superset. You literally use this dial here and pull it out like so. Curl it down. Once it's down there, you curl it down and you curl it up, you know? You, you get my point. So the reason we say it is a work in progress is because, as you can see, we are surrounded by stuff, you know? You, you don't look very comfy, Jesse. Are you okay? Good girl. We are essentially in this part of the garage surrounded by stuff. You know, we've got tubs of protein behind me. This is where we keep the alcohol. We've got the ironing board, mops and stuff in here. Because it's a garage. This is our garage and, you know, this is our home. And so it is needed for storage like any other person's garage or attic or whatever. We even have stuff like pasta in here at the minute. I don't know where that came from, but, you know, it, it just proves my point, you know, this is a garage as well as a gym, and so it has to be used for its practicalities, if you like. So if you've been watching for the past kind of six months, that's when we started to get these extra upgrades like the leg extension, the bike, uh, and the TV. This was the TV we literally picked up from Argos. All of the other stuff, either powerhouse or body solid. That keeps the equipment and the color scheme kind of very consistent, uh, and we are very kind of on it with, with trying to keep the colours the same. If we can't do it, then we can't do it, but we like to do it if we can. And so far, I think uh, I think we've done a pretty good job. And that is it, I believe, I think. I'm actually not sure. Have we done everything? No! We also, not too long ago, bought a T-bar row. So you essentially, you just put the barbell in here and row up and down, up and down. You can just wedge it in the corner like that. It's, it's really handy, to be fair. But, other than that, that is it, people. Home Gym Tour Volume 5. Let me know what you think. Let me know if you think we should add a certain piece of equipment, if we're missing something, if we have absolutely everything you could ever dream of. Let me know your thoughts, good or bad, in the comment section down below. Any constructive criticism? could help us, you know? So let us know. I hope you guys have enjoyed today's video. If you have, please do me a massive favor, drop the video a like, comment down below, subscribe if you are new, share it with a friend and all that good YouTube stuff. Comment, like, comment, share, subscribe, blah, 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 blah. Right? If you don't do it for me, do it for Jesse, huh? Yeah, that's right. I'm guilt tripping you. So once more, thank you for watching guys. Please, if you are new here, consider subscribing. I don't usually do kind of formal type videos like this. It tends to be quite laid back. You know, chilled music, chilled vibes. It's good. I, I try my best, so subscribe, please. But that is it for one day. Thank you so much for watching. Together we will grow and I will see you in the next one.